This so, is yours, Tina. All right. <laughs> I was asking, I was does the Bible prohibit wearing face masks in public? <laughs> okay. So Biblic, obviously there's not a thou shalt or thou shalt not on this, you know, law, just like, you know, law of Moses we're talking about. But if you go to the book of Romans, uh, chapter 13 and verses one and two, I think this gives us a good principle to go by. Um, again, Romans chapter 13, verses one and two, and it says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers or to, you know, the government for there is no power, but of God and the powers that are ordained of God. So basically, you know, God, you know, allows this government to happen. And verse two, it says, whosoever therefore resists the power, resists the ordinance of God and they that resist shall receive unto themselves damnation. Now, obviously if the if the law of the land goes against the law of god we are to obey the law of god um as bible believing christians you know just like daniel in chapter six when the law of the medo Medes and the persians was to you know pray only to the king for 30 days david you know daniel was like uh no <laughs> i keep praying to the true god of heaven and that's what he did and he faced the death penalty for it and that was you know but he'd rather he'd rather die than sin, which is break one of God's commandments. But when there's a law that does not call us to obey, you know, uh, excuse me, do, does not call us to disobey God's law, then we need to, you know, as even if we don't agree with everything 100 percent, we still need to, you know, obey the law of the land. And wearing a face mask is not unbiblical in any way. Actually, there's some good principles to it, um, you know, to prevent you know, the spreading of disease. I don't, I know um, in the law of Moses, there are, you know, laws of uh, quarantine. And so, you know, the Bible was really, you know, God was really smart in how God, you know, showed us how to prevent disease. You know, we shouldn't, um, that's why the lepers were put in their own colony, you know, to, to be quarantined. You know, we shouldn't be, um, if there is, you know, a, a pandemic going on, we should be, you know, careful not to spread this disease around. Um, and some people will argue about, you know, how effective a face mask is, whether or not that's, you know, 100% true. But I mean, I remember before, you know, this pandemic happened, you know, my doctor, when she was sick, she would wear a face mask to prevent, you know, her patients from getting sick from her. And so I think, you know, it, it, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing unbiblical about it. Um, you know, and if a place is requiring it from you, I don't think that's a hill you need to die on. <laughs> Just wear a face mask, um, you know. And uh, that's my personal opinion, you know, just again, <laughs> obeying the law of the land and also just being a courtesy to other people. Um, I think, you know, there's some, you know, truth in that, you know, even if you don't, maybe you don't totally agree with wearing a mask for whatever reason, you know, if other people feel more comfortable with you wearing one, I think it's just courtesy. Um, so, yeah, those are my thoughts on that. Jay, Wendy, do you have any other thoughts? Yeah, I, I agree with that. And I mean, if you have a medical reason and you can't wear a mask, I think there's oh, stuff yeah. usually in place where you could get a doctor's note. I mean, that's a place where maybe it makes sense, right? So I, I, I agree what you said there, Tina, about we have bigger hills to die on. Yeah. Like we have some serious, serious issues that threat, threaten God's people on the horizon. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if we really look behind the scenes, like, is, is Satan trying to make Christianity look really stupid? Is Satan really trying to hit, pin us around mm -hmm. by making us take positions that, again, are going to compromise us and, and have us have problems on things that really, 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 mm -hmm. really do matter? And and I know it's tough, right, because we also need to stand and draw the line at times when, when the government goes too far. And, yeah, we should be voting. We should be... Um, speaking, you know, but, but yeah, when it comes to actual breaking the law, that is a, a different mm -hmm. realm altogether. And I think it's important to note too, that like, yeah, there are people who like have medical issues with wearing a mask. And, you know, I think we have to be mindful of what kind of mask we wear and how often we clean it and, mm -hmm. you know, or how long we wear it before we clean it. Like, you know, because we're our breath does cast off a lot of impurities, and we are we should be mm -hmm. breathing clean air. And mm -hmm. you know, so there are there are a lot of considerations that go into it. But mm -hmm. to you know to 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 take this stance that like I you know I should never wear a mask because it's 
not in the Bible telling me to wear a mask, like, you know, that's, that doesn't really make sense either. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I'm sorry. I just, I don't know. I just thought of this instance when, um, cause during the pan, you know, the whole COVID pandemic, I was pregnant <laughs> and I remember, you know, being really worried about catching something, even if it wasn't COVID, I was just didn't want to get sick. And um, I was actually wearing a mask before, <laughs> all the time before the, the pandemic hit. And everyone's like, are you sick? I'm like, no, I'm pregnant. I don't want to get sick. And so, um, but I remember one time being at Walmart and this guy coughed right next to me, like, just like he didn't even care. But I was like, oh, and then but then I saw he had a mask on and I was like, thank you, God. <laughs> he was wearing a mask because <laughs> I was like, that didn't sound like a healthy exactly. cough at all. <laughs> So, I, mean, I was just glad it was contained. So, it, I mean, there's, you know. <laughs> even pre-COVID, we did not like flying on airplanes because like every yeah. other time you catch some virus because, yeah. yeah, the person behind yeah. is coughing yeah. on you. So, and, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a great phrase oh again. I, I know, was going right? to add to like, um, I don't know if you've noticed this, but um, like, Recently, we went, we were in an area that had a lot of people. We were passing through an area that, like, people were packed in pretty close, right? And we were wearing masks. Everyone else was wearing masks. And I noticed something about this experience that often times when I'm in, you know, in the past, when I've been in these crowded spaces, there's all these funky smells from people's, like, breath that, you know, is coming out into the space and because you're walking so close to people you smell it and sometimes you smell like sickness or decay coming from people's breasts because of oral health issues or infections or whatever and it was so nice actually to walk through that space without any of those kinds of smells and i was like you know that's really interesting that uh the everyone having a mask on actually prevented the you know that sort of putrefication sitting in the air and like it it's it, it, it mask may not stop everything yeah. but yeah. but even the idea of stuffing a lot of people in a small space without good airflow that's just a bad idea yeah yeah, yeah. agreed okay.